friends, this is rock bottom. We are now officially that dweeb that hides in bathrooms at parties. And you're using the word dweeb unironically like it's 1987 or something. <coughs> Shit. Hey Xander, how's it going? Not great. You? I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh, I think we both know that you just heard that, so let's just drop that facade right now. Right, right, sorry. Room in there for one more? Yeah, I think it can handle two dweebs. Thanks. Hi. Hey. What well, brings you here? <sighs> Long story. Could I ask you the same thing, though? Usually the life of these parties. You forget your drinking buddies? Long story. <laughs> touche, Randall. Oh, touche. One hour of talking later. So, I have a secret superpower. <laughs> Right now, what's that? I'm a bi fairy. Is that. Is that a slur or something? No, oh God! You think I'm gonna just set a slur that fucking casually? No, no, I just, I just mean I have the power to turn other guys by. Oh, bullshit. No, seriously, so many guys at school swore up and down that they were straight until they got crushes on me and figured out they were bi. Or they used me to confirm it. No, you're such a fucking liar. Try me. Listen. Any out queer guy at school, and I'll tell you if I've been with him or not. Mike Duncan. Kissed him, ninth grade. TJ Walker. Hooked up August before 10th grade. Zach Clayton? Hey, no, he's not out as anything. I'm not answering that. Ugh, fine. Uh, I don't know, Joby Wilson. Kissed him summer before 8th grade. The hell? Seriously? I was kidding! Mm -hmm. Look at this Edward fucking Cullen, man. He doesn't go out with anybody. In the closet, across from this bathroom at Jake and Jesse's birthday. That's fucked, dude. Hey, it's not my fault that while Caitlin B was trying to corner me and spin the bottle, I uh, happened to hide in a closet where Job also happened to be. And, sorry, I gotta make a correction there. He kissed me because I had never kissed a guy before and I was too much of a wimp to do it. I mean, can I ask you a weird question? And, like, feel free to tell me if it's, like, out of line or something and just... Sure, hun, shoot. How did you know you were bi? I don't know, Zan, how does anyone? I realized I had a crush on a boy the same way I had crushes on girls. And envies, once I met a couple other than my sibling. It's a lot more complicated for some people, but the figuring it out part was actually pretty easy for me. Of course, admitting it was another story entirely, you know, internalized homophobia and all that, but yeah, happened eventually. Well, when did you first admit it? In my head, to myself, right after asking someone else that same question. But out loud to somebody the day after Joby kissed me. I just sort of validated it, you know? I mean, not that I need validation from anybody else, but like, it showed me I wasn't making it up. I'd kissed a boy and it felt the same as when I kissed a girl. Maybe even a little better. It's kinda new. I'm hiding from Connor. I keep feeling weird around him. Like, how I felt with Caleb before we were dating last year. And today he just he shows up at my house in a fucking speedo yelling about how he's He-Man, master of the universe, and I just, I, I couldn't fucking deal with that, man. Dude, come on. No, sorry. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing because I get it. <laughs> just, just freaking me out. Like, I don't want to tell him that I like him. Unless I know for sure, but how how can I know for sure that I like guys? Wow, well, it's always the bi fairy test. What does that mean? <laughs> Kiss me. Excuse you? Hmm? You want to know if you like guys? I have a, at least a dozen of them that'll verify that this test works. But I, I, I I don't like you like that, man. Neither did half of them. Still works. You just pretend I'm Connor. I, I don't I don't know, dude. Hey, it's fine. I'm not gonna force you or anything. I'm just offering. Ball's in your court, Zan. You sure this wouldn't be weird for you? <laughs> hey, trust me, I've done weirder shit than let someone test kiss me. Remember who you're talking to here. It's basically common knowledge. I have a very healthy sex life. You're a slut, you man. Oh, that's just hurtful. You're fucking man whore, Levi. Let's be real here. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying there are nicer ways to say it. <laughs> okay. I'm just sure this is okay. Yes, babe. You're all good. Promise.
And then after a heart-to-heart and a make-out session, they became friends. The end.